Now, if you've got things saved in Google Drive, they're just automatically gonna appear in your files on Chrome OS. Think of it as the operating system for your Google ecosystem. What is the difference between a Samsung Android tablet and a Chromebook? Great question. We've got a few videos on Chromebooks and Chrome devices here. So let's cover off this one. So a Chromebook runs Google's Chrome operating system. Right now I'm working from a Mac and that is running the Apple operating system. Now, when I had a Windows computer that was running the Windows operating system. In my studio back home, I run a Chrome box, which runs the Chrome operating system. And so Google's Chrome operating system runs on Chromebooks. It runs on Chrome boxes, which are specialized devices that also run Chrome. But now with a operating system called Chrome Flex, which Google has released to the public, you can actually install Chrome's operating system on any machine that you're working with. And Chrome is a whole nother brain. It's a whole nother system for your computer. And so if you are used to using an Apple computer or you're used to using a Windows computer, think of Chrome as like a third option. Now, if you've ever used Linux before, Linux is another option for an operating system for your computer. And Chrome is actually based on Linux, but it's got some googly tools on top of it, like the ability to sign in with your Google account, stay connected to everything in your Google world. That's automatically going to link everything on that computer to your Google account, like your bookmarks and your Chrome settings. And, you know, if you've got things saved in Google Drive, they're just automatically going to appear in your files on Chrome OS. Think of it as the operating system for your Google ecosystem. Now, it's a little bit different to Android, but here's where it gets confusing. You can actually run Android apps on the Chrome operating system. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. A Chrome tablet or a Chrome box or a Chromebook that's running the Chrome operating system will allow you to add your Android apps to your computer. And so let's say as an example, you're interested in using something like Uber Eats on your computer and you can't get the app on the web. I don't know if it works on the web or not, but let's say, for example, it doesn't work on the web. Well, you can actually install the Android app on your Chrome device and it'll actually run there. Or maybe you want to use the Netflix app so you can download some movies for offline use on your Chromebook. Well, you can fire up the Google Play Store and download any Android apps. Now, a Android tablet is a bit more like an iPad. So just like an iPhone or an iPad, it just runs the Android operating system, which is a tablet operating system. And so that's different. It's not a fully fledged desktop operating system. You don't have a mouse and a cursor or anything like that. Although if you pair a Bluetooth mouse, that might work. But an Android tablet is just gonna run apps. Yes, it's gonna run touchscreen. It's gonna be even more lightweight than a desktop operating system. Now there are tablets that run Chrome OS, which is where things get a bit confusing because it's basically a tablet. And so, you know, why would you buy an Android tablet if you can buy a Chrome OS tablet and also run Android apps on it? Well, Android tablets are a little bit cheaper because Android uses a little less resources than the Chrome, fully fledged Chrome operating system does. Chrome is still very, very, very lightweight. It's a lot more lightweight than Windows or a Mac operating system, but Android is even more lightweight in itself. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.